Good morning Year 4, this is your second literacy lesson for Week 5. So before we get stuck in with our literacy, we're just going to recap on some grammar and punctuation. So, I have just put down for us today to have a look at standard and non-standard English. Now this is something that lots of you still write incorrectly in your writing and it's very common. So we're just going to have another look over it again. So I'm going to read part of a text and we're going to look at adding something to the text and seeing if it has been written correctly in standard English. Strangely, the classroom was set out differently. Suddenly, warning bells went off in Davy's head. It was the start of assessment week. How could he forget? He noticed that the tables had been arranged in neat rows and columns. Test papers, pencils and rubbers had been placed in front of each chair. The gaps between each set would ensure that no one would copy off their partner. It was all coming back to him now. Mrs Smith had asked them to revise over the weekend. Oh dear, Davy had spent a blissful few days playing on his games console. He was in trouble. Once they were settled in their places, they were allowed to open the test paper. To his surprise, he saw that the text was about the history of video games. Okay, so now... We have got a challenge, so it says, Ali has written two versions of the next sentence for the above text. Which option should he use? Tick one. So we're looking at which one is written in standard English correctly. So would we say, to his relief, he'd done a great job after all? Or to his relief, he did a great job after all? Which one makes sense? Okay, you should have said this one. To his relief, he did a great job. So lots of us sometimes get a little confused and we speak like this. He done a great job after all, but it is incorrect. So correct standard English would be he did. Okay, the only time we would use done is if we said he had done. Okay, so using perfect tense. He had done a great job after all. Right, what about this one? So it's the same text again, I don't need to reread it for you. So then we're going to use a front adverbium that could be added to the first sentence of paragraph two. So here's the first sentence. He noticed that the table had been arranged in neat rows and columns. So before that, adding a front adverbial, would we say, whilst he were panicking, whilst he was joking, whilst he was panicking. So we should know that we wouldn't say he were. We know it's going to be he was. So was he joking or panicking? Let's think about the text again. So he noticed that the tables had been arranged in neat rows and columns. Now remember, he knows he's got a test. He's played his video games over the weekend. He's forgotten it's assessment week. So is he going to be joking or is he going to be panicking? Okay, you should know. It is this wrong. Whilst he was panicking, he noticed that the tables had been arranged in neat rows and columns. Okay. I think this might be the last one now. So circle the correct option below to complete the new sentence for the story. Do not open them test papers until I tell you to do so, commanded Miss Smith. Or do not open these test papers until I tell you to do so. Or do not open they test papers until I tell you to do so. Which one do you think? It should be these. And lots of people say them. But we know that's incorrect. Do not open these test papers until I tell you to do so. Okay. So, oh, we've got one more. Teddy has written a sentence to add to the letter. We was thinking of offering him a place on the rugby team instead. Why shouldn't he use it? Explain your answer. So look at this. What is incorrect? So let's read the text. Dear Mr. Wells, sadly, I am writing to inform you that your child, Jimmy, has been dropped from the football team. It has been a difficult decision for us to make, but your son left us with no other option. Firstly, he refuses to pass to any of his team members because he enjoys the glory of scoring all of the goals himself. Secondly, when the referee declared him offside, he ran off with all the balls and hid them on the roof of the shed. Finally, 
he has, on many occasions, injured members of his own team. Last week, three of his teammates had to leave the pitch due to his vicious tackles. OK, and then at the end of the letter, it's going to say, we can see that this letter has been written formally. We was thinking of offering him a place on the rugby team instead. What's wrong with it? OK, you should be able to see this one, the verb was. It should be we were. We would say was if we were saying I was, but because it is we, it is plural, it changes to were. So we would say I was, she was. But then when it changes to a plural pronoun, we, we were, they were. Okay? Right. Moving on to our literacy. So, if you want to pause the video now and watch Little Freak again to give you a reminder of what we are going to be discussing this week, you can. If not, you can just continue the video. So, remember, we have got Little Freak is being used at the circus. So, as well as people being used at the circus, so are animals. So, if you have a look here, you've got a bear on a scooter, you've got a lion performing, an elephant performing, picking somebody up. And later this week, we are going to discuss whether we think it's fair to use animals at the circus or whether they should be banned. So we have done a piece of writing similar to this before when we've talked about animals being kept in a zoo. So think about those skills that you learn in class and how you can now apply it to this piece of writing. So what do you think? This is important now that you discuss this with people in your house. So you might want to go and ask your mum and dad or sibling or your carer, grandparents. What do they think? Do they think that animals should be used at the circus or do they think they should be banned? So pause the video now and have a little discussion. OK, so we've got two viewpoints here that are very different, contrasting viewpoints. The first one says, to create a truly wonderful show, you need more than humans. You need a lion tamer. There has to be somebody in a cage with tigers. Horses must be dancing and performing dressage and an elephant should balance bulls on their trunk. And, of course, dogs should run a fascinating assault course. If you put all this together, the audience will love it. OK, the next viewpoint says, The government should ban circus acts that rely on animals. It's not fair to have animals transported around in cages and then brought out to perform, fashion, perform tricks. It's old-fashioned and the majority of people don't agree with it anymore. Protests often take place outside the venues. In the 21st century, there is no place for this animal abuse. OK, so we've got two different viewpoints there. Which one do you agree with? and disagree with or you may have a completely different viewpoint. So the first one is saying yeah we should absolutely allow it we should have humans and animals and the other viewpoint is saying absolutely not it is harmful and it is animal abuse so what do you think so what you are going to do now you've got this activity in your pack you are going to think about reasons why animals should be banned and reasons why animals should be kept so, for example, reasons why animals should be banned. You might say, you can do bullet points, we're just taking notes. They are being kept against their will because they don't want to be there. They've not chosen to go to the circus. And I might also say it is harmful for the animals. Okay. Reasons why animals should be allowed, I might say it is fun for people to watch. So, for example, thinking about, I think it is SeaWorld, who now no longer have, I think it's the whales. But people would pay lots of money to be able to go and watch the whales do different tricks and the dolphins. And people loved that and that was a once in a lifetime experience. So it was great for the people. However, it was harmful for the animals. It wasn't fair on the animals. It was cruel. So going to see a circus, if there were no animals there, do you think people would still pay? Do you think people would still enjoy it? So we could say, well, it's fun for people to watch. So I want you to add what you think now reasons for and against. <laughs> 